president. Finally, a black president. To represent. I know it, so I speak it. I saw it, so I rip it. The phone was so freak it when I flow it with the beat. So I dedicate this to those who are down with the revolution. All over the world, they never schooled it. I dedicate this to It was the day that South Africans had longed for. And finally, it had arrived. On May 10th, 1994, at Nelson Mandela's inauguration, he appeared in front of the crowds holding the hands of Deputy Presidents Thabo Mbeki and F.W. de Klerk. At once affirming that the fate of all three and that of the new nation were intrinsically linked and interdependent, yet extremely fragile. The country was racked with the worst violence it had ever experienced. Negotiations to end apartheid to add the Kempton Park World Trade Center were under constant threat. The ultra-right AWB made their antagonism towards the probable black government clear by driving their vehicle through the window of the center. The IFP, led by Chief Mutelezi, who wanted Guazulu Natal to be a federal state, equally threatened to destabilize the negotiations through withholding tactics and violence on the ground. International mediators said Armageddon was on its way. Members of a government in waiting, you have the responsibility to behave orderly and with dignity. But crucially, and only at the 11th hour, all parties managed to find a light at the end of the tunnel. Our country is inexorably on its way towards a new dispensation. The elections went ahead over three of the most peaceful days the country had ever experienced. It was indeed a balancing act as the unlikely bedfellows walked a tightrope to carry out their mandate to give South Africans a new constitution. Mandela, Mandela. A menagerie Mandela. of archetypal creatures, both mythological and mortal, serve as reminders of the good and evil that lurks beneath the surface, positioned to help or hinder the progress of the nation. The elephant represents Nelson Mandela with its attributes of strength, long memory, patience, and tolerance. The giraffe symbolizes the aloof, lofty quality of Tabumbeki, riding on the back of the elephant. Both are sheltered under a turtle's shell, representative of the strength of a proud liberation movement. Waving the new South African flag, the bear represents de Klerk, illustrating a politician subject to the winds of change and a political party whose time was up. The stubborn mainstream voters who kept apartheid in office for so long are represented by the donkey. And the devil represents the evil doers who slid through the fingers of the justice system. The dodo portrays the prejudiced individuals whose bias is heading for extinction. The crocodile with a scorpion's tail is a mutated monster of intolerance and impatience. And the griffin represents power gone awry and typifies those who have succumbed to corruption and greed. Yet amid these foreboding creatures, we see the born frees, figures of hope and rebirth of the Rainbow Nation. They are the vanguard of the future, filled with wonder and excitement. Forging South Africa's democracy was a delicate balancing act that required humility, tenacity, and unfathomable grace. In 1994, the future was an open book with new chapters yet to be written.